Let's talk about calculating the metal. Uh, first, we've got to turn on our scale. And if you have a triple beam balance, that's going to work fine too. But we're going to use the digital scale. And one thing to be aware of when you use the digital scale is first, you want to make sure your tear weight is correct. So if you're using a cup to hold your material, uh, you want to tear in zero with the mass of your cup. But then you'll notice that you'll get a negative value when you remove the mass of whatever you're using to hold your part. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure that our scale is zeroed. We're going to make sure that it's in the units that we want. So the scale can measure in ounces, pounds, or grams. We want to be in grams. So the mass of our cup is 11 grams. And I generally write this down on the off chance that anything goes wrong and I need to go backwards with my calculations and we're going to tear that to zero. So now that our metal is dry, we're going to weigh the mass of our metal. And one more. All right, so mass of silver, 130 grams. Now, that's great. That's exactly what we need to cast our 3D printed part, right? That covers the part and the spruce system volumetrically. However, generally there is a feeder used to apply head pressure. It's called our button. And so when you cast on the centrifuge, there is a large mass of metal pushing the remainder of the metal of your part in the spruce system to the end. Okay, and you need that for head pressure. So we want to measure what the button weighs as well. So now, again, we have negative 11 for our grams. That's the mass of our cup. We're going to tear back to zero. There we go. And the mass of our button here is 36 grams. Three, six. So our total casting weight should be the sum of those two. One hundred and sixty-six grams. So let's go backwards uh, just to calculate what ratio we're using as a multiplier to take our SLA printed part and convert it to sterling silver. Okay. So first we'll weigh the part. Put that there for later. And the part weighs 14 grams. Part. This is SLA. 14 grams. Okay. Now there's a little bit of wax, but generally when you're spruing, you're going to have some wax incorporated. So this is a reasonable ratio multiplier. So to get our conversion ratio, we have to take the mass of the silver, right? And then the mass of the part. And we're going to take the mass of silver, put that on top, 130 grams. And then we're going to take the mass of the part and put that below. So that gives us our multiplier. Okay. And it's a scalar, so grams cancel out. And then what we need to know is what is 130 over 14. And it's like, I don't know, maybe 9.3. But we'll do the long division just because. So if we get our 14 and our 130, 14 doesn't go into 130, so we know it's going to be 9, right? So 9 goes here, decimal place. And 9 times 4 is 6, and 9 times 1 is 90. Oh, sorry, 9 times 4 is 36, right? So we got 36, and 9 times 1 is 90. And you add those together, and you get 126, right? Plus the sum. So we get this little remainder of 0 0.40, divide that by 14. And you got to ask, how many times does 14 go into 40? And it's less than 3. Okay, so it's 2 and change, right? Because that'll give us 28. And so 
we're looking at 9.2 and change. So your multiplier here about 9.2.